In this calculus club video, we're going to discuss how to maximize an area. And this problem says consider a rectangle in the xy plane with its lower left vertex at the origin and its upper right vertex on the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 16, as indicated in the figure shown. What is the maximum area of such a rectangle? I look at the rectangle. Area of a rectangle is length times width. We look here, the length would be equal to x, its width would be whatever y value it is on this line, so it will be equal to negative 2x plus 16. Alright, multiply those two together, that gives the area of the rectangle. It will be all the possible areas we can figure out by plugging in the x value into it, and that will give us the area. So that's going to be the x times the negative 2x plus 16. Multiply this out, I'll get negative 2x squared plus 16x. So to find the maximum area, I need to find the maximum of this function. Okay, the maximum will occur when your, your derivative is equal to zero. So we're finding a, a local maximum. So if I take the derivative and then set it equal to zero, I can find the critical spots in the graph where it could be a local maximum. So let's take the derivative. So the two in the exponent comes out front, multiply by two, so you get negative four x, and we decrease the exponent by one, give us x to the first power, and then this just becomes 16. Okay, the one comes out front, and then the exponent goes to zero, x to zero is one. Right, so from here, I want to set it equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to factor out a 4. Let's do a negative 4. That gives me x minus 4. All right, so I can do x minus 4 equals 0, or x equals 4. So the maximum area occurs when my x is equal to 4. Alright, and then you plug that into your, your y equation. Then to figure out the y, we do negative 2 times 4 plus 16. So negative 8 plus 16, or just 8. So my width or height is 4, so 4 times 8. We'll equal 32. 32 will be the maximum area of that rectangle. So that's how you maximize area. We find the equation for area, take the derivative, set the derivative equal to zero to find the critical points in the graph. Those are going to be local maximums. In this case, we found x was 4. We plugged 4 into our x and y to get our x and y values of the rectangle. We could just plug it into the area formula. It could have been negative 2 times 4 squared plus 16 times 4. Is this negative 2 times 16 plus 16 times 4? Is it negative 32 plus 64 or just 32? So so the answer to this problem was 32. And that's how you maximize the area of a rectangle.